Uh, I love you and you love me. So far. And baby makes three. <laughs> that, that's, Are you pregnant? That's the, yeah. Um, I have a question for you, though. Actually, for both of you. When are you guys going to join me back on the beard bridge, man? What's going on with this? Oh. You clean-shaven mother effers. voiced emperors? his desire for me to grow a beard. I do like you. He really a likes me in a beard. I know yeah, it's getting hot and the beard's... Beard. Just yeah. grow some scruff from a birthday, okay? All right. That's all you got to do. Oh, oh boy. A little, little chin music, a little... That's so kinky. Let's see what you got. Well, all I can say is thank fuck for a two-party system. <laughs> Sam... <laughs> Sam Regal, you're adorable, you're quick-witted, you're clever, you're good in bed, but this is the adult's table. <laughs> but I know for a fact that my husband has seen this robe. He was just out in the lobby, and uh, and he said, very nice. <laughs> I feel like Sam should be up in the same direction as everybody else. Yeah, it's weird, Sam. How is he gonna eat my ass, though? I know. Here you live dangerously, you're a dangerous man. Yeah, it's yeah. What, maybe it's what attracts me to you. <laughs> I know, I know. And it was great. Uh, your support makes a big difference. Let's see what mine came with. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah. No. All right. No. Uh, oh. Always carry this with me. Oh, right. Right. Oh, sure, that's standard. That. Could yeah. you make Sam look like me and uh, me look like Sam? We could, but it, it'd be it's, tricky. Yeah, because the bone structure is so different. And that's my kink. Doing each other as each other? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yes. Making right? out with it. Making out with yourself. yourself. If you look like me. Right, right. That's the idea. Oh, yes. Making out with each other. You're making out with yourself, piloted by your best friend. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I chose my race in class by Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien picks my race in class. So I also choose what color underwear he wears. <laughs> I get massages at any time of day or night. Yeah, yeah that's true. pretty sweet. Have you been in danger? We both grew up in New York's New York area. I'm yeah. sure there was dangers abound. Uh, well, I've never been in a fight. Period. I've uh -oh. been beat up on at different points in my life. That could be a future episode. Be sure. Just, just us, walking into bad places. Just us fighting each other. Oh, okay. Like a street fight. Oh, that sounds hot. <laughs> this is actually our fight club. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that Liam not on the Fight it. Club. I wouldn't Are think you? Sam would be in the Fight Club. God, no. No, no. Not with these feet. I feel like you would like a Fight Club. I, someone has to fuck me up real bad to like get me in. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be who wants but to you do like, it? You like sure. whiskey Tonight. slaps so yeah. much. One of you needs to volunteer. Someone to willingly let the corrupt soul of Sam Regal enter their body. Let me. Yeah. I've already had Sam in me before. <laughs> Preacher. <laughs> It, oh. it is that big, too. <laughs> Stop. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Get in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> I'm going to go. So, yes, oh, no. Caleb is very interested in Sam's gigantic schlong. Oh, God. And, um. Why gigantic horizontal schlong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's a good thing. It, it's a good thing. Yeah. Time travel is good. It does definitely does not endanger present reality. No. Nope. I, 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 I ate before this. It's amazing that it, it can hold the weight of my entire leg. Yep. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. You're excited. Jesus Christ. This guys. is a great commercial. <laughs> this is where. This is the episode also where we renew our vows, right? <laughs> With this ring. Get on my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't Lord. recognize. Oh, you're scared. You looked amazing and handsome. If I'm, if I may. Well, those weren't my real cheekbones anymore. So <laughs> they were. They were artificial. Dashing. Uh, you, you're a pretty sexy undead crazy lizard man. But I love watching Sam bring his magic touch to the class that I used to uh, wear, yeah. um, because Sam is a comedic genius and. Um, I'll get paid back for that later. <clears throat> this was not planned. There's no way you were watching. Or did you? I heard someone called me a comedic genius. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Whenever you say uh, Sam Regal is a comedic genius, I get alerts from everywhere. I have to call in. <laughs> What's up, sweet pea? Oh God. We're in the middle of it. We're in the middle of a show that you weren't yes, invited on to. I tell you that assessment of me is entirely accurate. Carry on. Well, you did say you'd get paid back for it later. You didn't know it'd be 30 seconds right. later. Uh, honey, will you, honey, 
Will you cover up my plate of dinner to keep it warm and uh, don't open up the best wine until I get there, okay? Sure, 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 but I'll be, I'll be shaving my button balls for later, bye. Okay. Husband, my love for you is deathless. Memories of all the bliss we've enjoyed in each other's arms crowd the eye of my mind. Never forget how much I love thee. For when my last breath escapes my lungs like the salty ocean bile that spills forth from Ford's lungs, I shall whisper your sweet name one final time, and know that if the dead can come back to this earth to drift in secret around those they love, I shall forever be with you, a spectral nautilus to the cove of your heart. Gimme that bud. Liam O'Brien. Give me that butt. Liam O'Brien. You can? Take a sip. Take oh. a sip. Take a sip. Uh, oh, okay, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Pass Good that boy. down and pour some for your boyfriend. Here, have some you? ginger ale, son. It's weird. It's usually the third date for humans. Mm -hmm. For goats? They they like to make they like to make it last. They'll wait till the seventh date. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But but then they know it's true love. Yeah, yeah. We didn't follow that rule at all. Nope. Right. First date. Mm-hmm. He needs me. He needs me. He needs me. He needs me. Oh my yeah, God, that's true. Me, me. I'm changing my major to not. <laughs> <laughs> it's two of these. Yeah, yeah that's husband. Three, Come on, it's all vibration. Right? I get nine points. Husband. Uh, you get nine points. All right, you've healed nine points. Great. That's and then uh, I'm going to let the sword guide me. <laughs> wow. I wish I knew how to quit you, no, Sam Regal. You, you yet have kids, but you have a wife now, and you felt you had a husband-sized hole, hole in, in your heart. heart. Yeah. And uh, at what point did Liam O'Brien come into that? <clears throat> so tell me about this, Brian. Is this going to be like one of those game shows mm -hmm. where? You ask him the same questions as you ask me, mm -hmm. and then if we got the answers right, we win a prize? Correct. <laughs> and the prize is another sidecar. <laughs> um, uh, and the prize is you get each other. Well, that is the, the best prize. <laughs> when in all of this transition and moving and all the career stuff and everything, did you meet your work husband, Sam Regal. Another lucky turn. Hmm. Um, I had been living in LA for a year, and I went back to New York for a convention appearance. I visited my family, went back to Weehawken, and then for two days I was at the Big Apple Anime Fest. And I just, it might have been my first time being asked to be on a panel. I probably had three credits to my name. And uh, we were at an anime convention, and I, um, I saw this dude, and we started to talk. And they plunked me down next to this guy with a, a gigantic mouth, giant smile. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even remember all the things we said. I just remember my reaction to him, which is like, this guy makes me smile. This guy is mm. funny. This guy is like me. And we just started talking, and, and I don't know what it was, but like, you know what? Talking to you, Brian, I do know what it was. You Tell me. I, it was that thing we've been talking about. I don't have a lot of friends who get it. Right. And he instantly got it. Um, and we just gelled immediately. And this isn't like the minutes before this panel started. And it really was like, hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Liam. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And one of us, I don't remember who, but one of us did, said, we should be best friends. Yeah. And the other said, that's right, let's do that. He told me that he, he, I think he said he couldn't remember which one of the two of you said it, but one of you immediately spending time at that convention together said to the other, we should be best friends. Absolutely. Yeah. Instantly. In the first 20 minutes of knowing, knowing each other. Uh, yeah, because I, I don't know. He, he had the same shared experiences and the same interests and the same desire to perform and put himself out there. And then I left, went back to New York, and he, I think he told me at the time, he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna move out to LA soon, maybe in a year, let's meet up when we do. And then I didn't talk to him or see him for a year. And then I don't remember if he called me or what, but he moved to Los Angeles, um, he moved over to Westwood, and he was with his, his wife. Mm -hmm. 
and they invited us over to their small apartment. And uh, I said, I'm moving to LA. He said, I'm already in LA. When you move out there, let's be best friends. I'll get you a lot of work because I already know the people out there. And I was like, great. And it was done. And uh, that was it. And then we just started hanging out and the rest is history. Man, Max Maiden. Yeah. And uh, Big Apple it was, Anime Fest. It was best friends at first sight. <laughs> yeah. For real. That relationship uh, all these years later it means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah. I love that Liam O'Brien, and uh, he loves me back. He does. We long we, time. We talked about that a <laughs> long time. For real. But as with all the joking and all the fun that we have with that mm -hmm. relationship within this community, he means a lot to you. He's been there for you for a lot of stuff, and that relationship is. Uh, it's so funny, and it's we, we like I said, we have all these jokes, and there's memes abound. But in this town, in Los Angeles specifically, mm -hmm. it's rare that people really get that close and stay that close. We talked about that, and um, it was interesting because he he sees a side of you that it's not that other people don't see. But it's funny because the things that, you know, he appreciates your sense of humor and, and you know, I'm supposed to say we all do. Um, he is the funniest man on earth. He's, he's fast as hell. He'll see this later. His head will grow half an inch wider. Yeah. But to him, uh, the thing that really stuck out to me was that he describes you as an extremely caring, thoughtful person who listens and, and has been there for him during really hard times in his life. He's a good man. I, I haven't met many people as kind as him mm -hmm. um, in my life. But you guys have an interesting, you, you guys yeah. have a very interesting bond that it, uh, not a lot, I would say not a lot of men that I know are comfortable being that close to, mm -hmm. you, you know, I, I have no problem with it, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't describe a relationship with another guy that sure, way sure. Or, or be that close or, you know, go through stuff like that together. Yeah, I guess I guess it, it's a combination of just being uh, being on the same wavelength with each other and also being together through different periods of our lives. Uh, you know, moving out here is scary, mm. and being a young actor is scary, and being a young anything is scary, and so you rely on your friends to get you through it, and uh, and so I guess we were there for each other uh, during that sort of time of uh, professional growth, right? And in doing so, we just got closer and closer as as friends, and have been there for each other through. Babies being born and hard times uh, with family stuff. Um, and people know that I am sort of on the other side of a rough period. And um, Sam was there. Yeah. And always will be. And always will be. Yeah. The last point is really the show's just an excuse for us to hang out. Like Liam said, we're, we're close. We're friends. We've been close for about a decade now. Mm -hmm. We we're, met uh, 10 years ago. Uh, back when we were kind of just crawling into the voiceover industry. Uh, mm, that uh, sound was a little more Russell's Reserve, small batch, 10-year-old Kentucky bourbon. Yes, thank you very much. We met about a decade ago um, at, uh, at the illustrious Big Apple Anime Fest, which is no longer uh, in existence. And uh, we were at a convention panel, uh, which he and I go to occasionally. And I sat down and he sat down. And probably after five or ten minutes of uh, goofing around, uh, what did I say? You said, uh, I believe the, the exact quote was, hey, you know what? We should be best friends. Right. And I accepted without hesitation. Yeah, yeah we, that's a great idea. We weren't 13. We were in our 20s somewhere or, yeah, we were in the, our mid-20s. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. But we don't take our – here's the thing. The, the unifying thing with Sam and I is that we don't take ourselves very seriously. Not at all. I'm an idiot. And I'm not wearing pants. Um and I, I think I could tell that early on, and uh, that I, I was, that I wasn't wearing pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell alone. <laughs> so I'd been in L.A. for a year, and he was about to move out, and um, I don't know. It just it was love at first sight. It so was. Here we are. There was strings. Are. There was magic. Mm -hmm. There was 
a timpani. It was beautiful. It All was right. beautiful. Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yes. How do you like it so far? Uh, it's good. It's making me sweat, though. Or maybe the booth I is making me sweat or both. I think it's the booth because it's, it is 104 degrees in here. It could also, there's always a certain amount of sexual tension. Between us, I mean, we. It's best to friction. Let, it's like moonlighting. Uh, like you don't want to say it. You don't. You don't want to, or else that'll ruin. Or like, what was it on Friends? Ross and no, no. Let's go with Luke moonlighting because I think. Anyway, we went. So we went on that twice. Then we went on something called the brainwash, which we could do together mm -hmm. as a as a gay duo. Right. On the same inner tube. In a coital position. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen gravity? They didn't instruct us to. <laughs> Have you seen gravity? Where Sandra Bullock gets in that sort of fetal position. That's yeah. how we were, except Liam was also holding I me. was the donut on the outside. <laughs> he was the yin to my yang. Oh, no. <laughs> we were 69ing, is what we're saying. You know why I think you're so successful at it? You obviously have Bec decades. No, I'm just going to tell you. Because don't, of don't my get... huge, huge ego and wang. Is that on the website with the different colors? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you obviously have tons of experience and are really good at it. But you also just you also just make people happy. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot Go of on. ego bandied about. <laughs> I don't think you you make anybody feel threatened. You have a nice touch. You, you just make people happy, uh, which is why I've latched onto you like a parasite. <laughs> um, and, I, and I'm very proud. Well, thank you. Very proud of you. Uh, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, you know, similarly, if I can if I can turn the mirror back on you, friend. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> you have had some success as of late. Well, not even as of late. You're just, you're my, you're my hero you have primo roles in in animation you have amazing roles in video games Guys, which i'm frankly jealous of we are filleting each other right <laughs> now yeah yes, i wrote deal. down a bunch of questions by the way sometimes what would you have you... done if we didn't come though uh oh. we would have spooned 69 yes <laughs> amazing there there's also i mean one third of the show could be about the sex that we have with each other which is very regular and very exotic yeah, yeah. In, involving contraptions you have never been turned on until you've seen sam regal in a baseball mascot outfit <laughs> with a hole cut out in just the right place <laughs> and not one of the popular baseball mascots <laughs> no and the hole not what you think right at the left ear <laughs> <laughs> oh, this might be our oh, best show. Hell, it's so sad we're both getting divorces after this podcast <laughs> releases. <laughs>